condition is still looking good. out a second a lap on the car behind. Verstappen is ahead of you. They're on old softs. Their tyres are eight laps old. We think they've got two stops remaining. The time last lap was a 1.16.7. You're closing in by seven tenths per lap. Go, go, go. Complete, go now. No need to worry about tyre condition for now, everything's looking good. We have two laps of fuel remaining. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Right, some information on Ricardo. They're slowing down. It seems like there's some kind of problem with their car. You've done it! Well done!
fault the performance on the track today, a well-deserved victory. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. Welcome then to the podium, our top three drivers. What a great effort from them today in a very difficult race. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. Despite the best efforts of our championship leader, that lead has taken a bit of a knock today. Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? Well, my driver of the day has to be Charles Leclerc. He was unstoppable out on the track today, weaving through the competition with ease. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. It was a tough race for our championship leaders who lose ground at the top of the table. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One.